Today, I thought I should share a video that I do in my class. And it's very popular among kids and it's called show and tell. The whole idea behind show and tell is to encourage our kids to use proper sentence when they talk about something. For example, if you ask a question, how many balloons are there? They will say three, but you should tell them, make a complete sentence. Either they can say, I see three balloons or there are three balloons. That's an awesome way to teach how to talk English or Hindi or any other language that you know. It's very important to make a complete sentence. So let's begin this video. And before, if you like this video, then don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And if you are looking for online classes, then do contact me by commenting on my video or you can visit my Facebook page. I will give a link in my description box. So let's begin. So let me share my page with you that I have made for my online students like I show them one thing I show them this picture then I will ask them to talk about it so when I see this picture someone will say uh, I have to put a question because it's not very easy for the child to make up their questions or give an instant answer so then I will ask them first I will stop for a second let your child think about it and if whatever answer they come up with, that would be an awesome way to start. And then you can build up on that. So like here, I can say, do you think the girl, is this a girl? So it's very obvious. They will definitely say she is a girl. Don't just stop at girl. Say they have to make a complete sentence. She is a girl. And once they say that she is a girl, then you can ask the next question. Is she happy? If she looks happy? Just don't let them stop by saying yes. They should say, yes, she looks happy. Next question, what is she showing? Okay, let's check out what is she showing. And we can, so she is showing us a painting of a of sun or whatever is there so this is how you encourage your child to talk in a complete sentence it's very important for language development next so you can just show some easy pictures which is very which are very familiar to them like here what is this they can say uh, they should say i can see a bat is the bat happy sad how it looks obviously the bat looks happy so or coffee but you have to elaborate a bit do you think it's this coffee is hot they should say they should not stop by saying just yes they should say yes this coffee or tea is hot is this a cup yes it is a cup it's a beautiful way to introduce language if you're looking for to build an English language for your child. This is also a great way to teach English language. What you see here, it's a collection of balls and you can use different, different words to express. Like here, we see so many different kinds of ball. What this orange ball is, this is a basketball. What about this white and black ball? This is a soccer ball. This one is a tennis ball. This one is a baseball. So you can build up on different, different words. And I can tell you, they will love doing this. They, you can engage your child for a period, long period of time. And in, the, in that way, you are building a vocabulary, sentence formation, difference between past tense. So many ways you can introduce English to your child. I, there are so many ways you can use diff, you can teach different words like here what's happening two girls are talking 
Are they talking? No, they are whispering. So it's a difference between talking and whispering. So now you're teaching one more word, which is very specific when we really talk slow and in the ear. So you can say, she is whispering. So, and you also, if your child knows how to read, you can put up different, different words like this or sentences and ask your child to read, to read. And if they know, they can explain the meaning of that sentence. It's for the elder kids, like a second grader, third grader. Will be, this will be a great way to uh, have a show and tell with the second and third graders. Like, shoot for the stars. What do you mean by shoot for the stars? means always try your best, always give your best shot, always aim big. So you can, ex they can explain their thoughts in this way. What is happening here? There's so many ways you can express, it's endless opportunity as a parent and educator you got to teach your child or your kid or your students how to talk in a complete sentence. What's happening here? The kids are having, they are having a, they are dancing. The kids are dancing. Do, are they look happy? Yes, they are happy. Then you can teach counting also. How many, how many girls are there? One, two, three. So just don't let them stop by saying three. They should say, there are three girls and two boys. So this whole sentence has to be complete. This is how a complete sentence and a complete answer has to be. So what's this? This is the happy word, the celebration. So these are the few examples that I do with my students. And if you want to know more about it, please leave a comment in, my, in the comment box. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe because I will keep coming up with different videos and different topics that's very apt for kids from preschool until grade three, as I teach kids from preschool to grade three. So hope to see you in the next video. Bye.